Hi, this is Bob from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. And if you're looking for an online Toughbook community that gives tips, tricks, and support, hit that subscribe and bell button so we can notify you of all our newest upcoming videos. Today, I'll be giving a short walkthrough of the Panasonic Toughbook FZG1. So stay tuned. Well, here we are with the FZ G1 Tough Pad. So we're going to do a, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough with you guys so you can see exactly what's involved with the um, Tough Pad FZ G1. I guess the first thing you, that you notice whenever you grab this little uh, Tough Pad is how light it is. I mean, even though it's fully rugged and you can drop it and all that, it's got some really nice uh, feel to it and weight. The um, it's got your, your uh, assignable buttons down here with the volume controls up and down. Uh, you can get to the window, you can push the windows button here to get to your start menu. And then you can swap to make the screen rotate around to any angle, you know, if you want it to go this way or that way. So it, it's, it's got some nice uh, features on the front part of it. I guess another thing I like about this uh, tough pad is that it has an upgrade slot right here which allows you to put different upgrades into it. This particular upgrade is the barcode reader. So it would read barcodes and that sort of thing. You can have a, a ethernet jack or another USB port here if you wish. Another nice thing about this little tablet is you can have an X strap. And I wish I had one to show you, I should have one, but I don't. Uh, it allows you to put your hand into it and so that this, this tough pad will stay in your hand. Another nice feature about this tough pad is the battery. So this battery actually can be um, upgraded to an extended life battery. But it sticks out about, oh, maybe a, qu a quarter to a little more inch above, you know, from the back. It also adds a little bit of weight to the unit. And this right here happens to be the upgrade for the smart card reader. Um, not everyone uses that. It has nice ports. There's a HDMI out port so you can hook to a nice big monitor so you don't have to use this. You're also able to plug this thing into a, um, a jump keyboard, an iKey jump keyboard. So it almost becomes like a real laptop at that point. Um, some other interesting features is it has a rear, a bottom camera and it has a front camera. So you can take pictures this way or if you want to see the image when you're taking a picture, you can turn it this way. So you have all kinds of options with the cameras. I guess that's uh, about all I got on this unit. I will say it runs Windows 10 quite well and with, with no problems. You can't make a bad purchase buying a tough bad FCG one. Well, that happens to be all I got for you today. Uh, check this uh, tough pad on the site. I also did some t uh, other videos on the FCG1. I'll share them in the description with the links. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.